has three children, two of whom excel while one goes completely off the rails. I want to know what might have sent Charlie down that path. This isn't your first time, is it? The article makes it look like she's inexperienced. This is too important for her to cut her teeth on, Dave. I don't want to go in sideways on us. You're the face of this investigation. You're the mouth, too. Just make sure you use an accent to make it all authentic. Whew. Well, that was a clip from Blood and Water. Joining us is the lead actress. Steph Song plays Joe Bradley. Uh, thank you for being here. And what a wonderful show. It looks show. intense. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is intense, isn't it? So, so just the basic um, plot is a billionaire's drug addicted son is killed. Yes. You're the lead investigator. Yes. But you're also dealing with your own issues at the same time. Yes. Quite a lot of issues. Yeah. Um, but she's, uh, yeah, she's a rookie detective right. and she's investigating a homicide. This is her first big solo assignment. Um, she's, you know, got a little bit of a, uh, her partner is like second guessing her the whole time. She's also just found out she's got cancer. Uh, she's uh, been put into this uh, assignment by the lieutenant because he's like, well, you, you know, you're Chinese. We want we want this to look good. This is a family, the right. Chinese family, of Van high standing Vancouver Chinese family. So make us look good. And mm -hmm. he even said that. Make sure you use your accent. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Put, yeah. Put you together. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And what's interesting about that is the fact that it's one of the first, or if not the first, show to be in three languages: primetime drama, Mandarin, Cantonese, and English. It is very unique, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that will certainly resonate. Um, you know, obviously in Vancouver mm -hmm. with big Asian population, yeah. and, and everywhere for immigrants. We were talking earlier about Bianca's from Germany. And yeah, I think it's going to resonate with immigrant families everywhere because that's what you do when you immigrate here. You're talking to your parents maybe in English, and they're responding in a different language, or right. vice versa. So I liked how the show kind of went in and out of these different languages. Yeah. Yeah, that was that that presented its own set of challenges. That, yeah, as an actor, yeah. <laughs> so, what, do you speak other languages? Uh, I do, but I I'm not a native Mandarin speaker. But I did have to learn some Mandarin for this role. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. It certainly looked like when you're responding in English that you sp speak English. You, well, you, <laughs> you speak English, but you know, it looks like you're understanding everything. Yeah. So yes. I was convinced. Yeah. Uh, it's also based and uh, mainly shot here as well, which is. Always nice to see exteriors, in right? In Vancouver, yes, exteriors yeah. in right. Vancouver. We did Cleveland Dam. We did the Hastings Corridor, um, which was really fun. And uh, we got on the Sky Train, and we yeah, we shot in various parts of Vancouver, English Bay. I think we did too. Yeah. We were just yeah. saying the city is perfect for that gritty crime drama, kind of moody, dark, yeah, gloomy, yeah, yeah, totally. And I want to ask you about the actors. They're so fantastic. How did uh, they get them? Are they local? Are they Canadian? Did you go beyond? Uh, they're all that? Canadian. Wow, okay. All Canadian. Um, I think some are based here in Vancouver, some are based in Toronto. We shot interiors in Toronto and exteriors here in Vancouver. So, yeah, quite a lot came over from Toronto and, yeah, mm -hmm. it, was, it was great to shoot in the both cities. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a very exciting show. Um, is there season two? Or are you allowed to talk about her? We don't know. I don't really allow to talk about season two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait till Sunday until we see the first and second episode. Yes. And, yeah. yeah. Um, you've done a lot of different work over the years. Um, you now have a family, and we, we have a personal connection. We do. How we met. Yes. I guess it was four years ago we met in prenatal class. We met in prenatal class. Uh, I met your wife. Yes. Yes. She and I were both huge and waddling, <laughs> and, you know, not very happy with life. Um, and uh, she, she I, then I saw her, like, right out the front of our building. Yeah. I was like, hey. Wait a second. You, you, we share a wall. Yeah. We, <laughs> so did you hear each other's children over no. this wall? No. Oh, no, okay. No. All right. No. Because that might be another further reason just to the, hang just, out. The, just the dogs barking and me and Tony would maybe Yeah, no, you guys, you guys saw each other. I remember yeah. Tony was like, I, I was just throwing out the trash and I saw Peter and he looked exactly like me, you know, because this was about a month after our kids had come yeah. out. And <laughs> We're just, he was like, he looked wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the thick of it. Um, so now you're you're living in Australia, you uh, you have your daughter. You're a jet you're, setter, yeah. Yeah, you're all over. And um, uh, Actually, no, my existence is pretty, um, pretty domestic and really rural. I took a big side step away from acting to spend the first three to four years with my kid before she goes to school and yeah. just really focus on her. And, you know, we wanted to be somewhere warm where she could just wear a diaper. She doesn't wear a diaper anymore. But, you know, the <laughs> yeah. first year is just on the beach. Outside, yeah. As mm -hmm. we see, on the yeah. beach. She, uh, is she surfing yet? She is standing up on a board and wow. she has to wear, oh, there's her. <laughs> and she uh, has to wear a little life vest and, yeah. 
So it must be funny to go from sort of rural Australia then to right into the thick of it downtown driving to the interview today. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's why I was late. Sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> I forgot about, nope, no problem. I forgot we understand. about traffic. <laughs> so I, I imagine things have changed quite a bit for you from having, having a family versus before and, and acting. Yeah, you know what? The big difference is I can sleep anywhere you ask me to sleep. <laughs> I, I I could sleep next to a trash can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you have any like routines you do? Because the, the flight is huge from Australia to here. Any things that you mm. little tips that you do to kind of get through those flights and maybe also get through them with kids? Yeah, I, I was touching on this with you guys just before that. Um, there's some people who will, some moms and dads who will tell you to use antihistamines, and their kids will just, your kid will just go to sleep. But uh, there's five percent of kids who will have the adverse reaction. They will just uh, be awake and hyper. Oh, great. Uh, and I can tell you 18 hours with a kid who's awake and hyper is just not fun at all. Oh, yeah. So On a plane, the lesson is space. don't, maybe drug, don't, don't do drug your kids. Yeah, no, maybe <laughs> don't, don't do that. Just um, We're not saying you should drug your kids no, or you no. shouldn't, you know. You know but. What? Just, just be aware that, you know, it could go the opposite way. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Understandable. <laughs> Well, congratulations on all, all your success. Thank you. Dad. The show was great. Yeah, it's not your, what do they say? It's not your mother's Omni television. It's no, it's awesome not your show. grandma's. Yeah. No, it's not your grandma's Omni. It's, yeah. it is, it, this is everyone's Omni. I think, yeah. I think there's something in it for everyone, and I think people are going to be surprised. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited uh, yeah. for the show, for people to get to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can keep up with Steph's international adventures on Twitter, at Steph Song. You can catch the first half-hour premiere with back-to-back episodes this Sunday at 10.30 p.m. on Omni.